Hey guys, my name is Lauren Severe, and today I'm doing my author tab. Oh no, I'm not. I'm doing my author tube newbie tag 2.0. Anyway, um, so I got this from Jenna Streety's channel, as I'm sure a lot of us did, and now it's my turn. And I hope I don't mess it up. It's lemonade, not tea. Anyway. I'm gonna use my phone here to read the questions, which I only have like 10% battery, so better not ramble and better make it quick. Anyway, uh, book number one, what's your book's pitch? If you have multiple works, choose your favorite one. My book's pitch. I haven't totally like gotten that down yet and because I'm bringing it to competition, I feel like I should just like practice with the young adult dystopian novel that I'm never going to publish. Um, just because I don't really know exactly how much I'm allowed to say about Songs of Autumn until I go to the competition in September. So that being said, my book's pitch. Bonnie is an outlaw on the run and Jesse and his brother are searching for answers to the past and a mysterious relative who provides safety after a tragic fire. Um, they meet in a whirlwind in New Vegas, post-apocalyptic New Vegas, about 20 years after the end of the world, and are thrown together on a whirlwind adventure where they discover that um, uh, life is about more than just surviving. Yeah, I think that's, ha, huh, I feel kind of proud of myself about that, you guys. What do you think? Is that kind of a good little pitch there? Uh, that was off the cuff. Wow. Okay, number two. If you were a book, how would you pitch yourself? I'm a chaotic bundle of fun and southern charm. I don't know. That's like the hardest question probably. Um, I've actually been working on like some marketing stuff and everything for the competition um, sort of around the same theme and I all of the introspective stuff I have issues with. I just you know, I I'm about family and fun and just nerding out, talking about writing, and that's kind of who I am. I like to think that I'm very welcoming and approachable, and that's me. I don't know. Those are hard questions. Good on you, Jenna. Jeez. Wow. What do you usually write? Young adult fiction. I love young adult fiction in a ton of different subgenres. Um, I have a ton of different story ideas. Uh, but yeah, young adult fiction mainly. What's something you'll never write? I kind of talked about this. I never say never, but maybe never a cookbook because I'm not a particularly good cook and my husband does most of the cooking. Um, <laughs> number five, what's your goal for starting an AuthorTube channel? I really just want to connect with you guys um, and the community. I really just want to learn more about y'all and I have always really struggled with um, imposter syndrome, not feeling good enough. I really wanted to be part of some place that encouraged me to keep going for, you know, the things that I wanted and were here on this journey with me and kind of rooting me on. Um, I felt like I had that with my friend um, in the past, but our friendship ended and I felt a lot, you know, pretty lost without um, that friendship because it was really the only one that let me explore the side of myself um, with my writing and everything. You know, I have support from my husband and from my family and coworkers and all of that, but they don't have the same interests and so it's hard to connect with them on that level and to really, you know, Wow, this got so deep. I'm going to move on. This is not only getting rambly, it's like getting deep. Oh, I feel all misty-eyed. Um, what made you want to start writing? I didn't have a want to start writing. I just did. It was more of a need, more of a, I don't know, just sort of a, an instinct to express myself. Um, I always had these like grandiose ideas and they just kept evolving and shaping and I just always wanted to explore that, you know? And, um, so it wasn't like a conscious, ah, I'm going to start writing and this is what I'm going to do. It's more of a, I just kind of always did it. Sorry, my mom's calling me. I'm going to call her back in a second. 
Um, number seven, what's your publishing path? Self-publish, traditional, publish, hybrid, haven't decided yet, or just write for fun? Hopefully. Wow, that was really fast. I'm going to put all these below, by the way, in case I just me over them. Um, that was so descriptive for a wordsmith. Me over them. Anyway, um, I haven't decided yet, but I will say that I will probably traditionally publish... Um, but self-publishing really interests me, and I think that if things don't work out for a traditional publishing contract, especially Songs of Autumn, because it's going to be the first in hopefully a long-standing series, I think that could market very well in the self-publishing world. Um, so I'm not against either, but I would prefer to pursue traditional publishing first, obviously. Um, what content do you bring to the AuthorTube table? Well, I like to think that I bring a Southern spin on new, you know, on old classics, but I also like to think that I bring my personality, which I hope is like bubbly and fun and, you know, my voice is sort of going because I'm bulk filming. <clears throat> but also I like the, you know, like to think that I have the content of like, let's talk and collaborate and, you know, just community and all of that. And so that's kind of, I don't know. I think I want to do a little more content that's maybe more like Louisiana or Southern. Um, just because I feel like that's sort of a corner of AuthorTube that's a little underserved. Maybe not everyone has the same perspective as me. And I think that it could be really cool to kind of talk about that because I'm super knowledgeable because I've lived here my whole life. Anyway, moving on. Um, number nine, what's your biggest writing struggle? Just one, please. Um, probably imposter syndrome and ADHD. Um, also, I struggle a lot with needing validation. Um, yeah, I need validation sometimes to like keep going. Like I'll have my husband read something and I'll question him a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot until he gets annoyed with me. Just because I really need like that, that push that, oh, I can't actually write something good. I'm not, you know, I'm not just all in my head. It's not just a wonder, wonder or whatever. Um, so that like getting in my head, I struggle with a lot. What's your best writing skill? I think the fact that I develop characters very well. I'm a very um, empathetic writer. And so I think that I can really um, get into people's the characters heads people like they're real people to me um but i can get into the characters heads a lot and i can really express like what they're feeling in a moment um viscerally and i think that is a real strength of mine whereas i struggle with um you know some parts of like setting a scene or creating tension because i'm just so in the moment you know that i kind of ignore this other thing happening and i need like when i'm editing i have to kind of refocus things sometimes and tone things down a little bit because I just kind of, I get all in the feels. Anyway, uh, so I think it's my, my greatest strength and my biggest weakness, but I definitely think it's my best skill. Um, choose between questions 11 and 12. If you've been on YouTube for a while, I have not. What's your best AuthorTube tip? If you're new to AuthorTube, what is your biggest AuthorTube question? Hmm. Will you be my friend, Jenna Streety? I love your videos and I'm a fangirl. That's my biggest author tube question. Will you be my friend? Anyway, moving on. Um, number 13, are you looking for any new channels to follow beta CPs or other types of writer buddies? If so, tell us who you're looking for and connect with them in the comments. Um, I am not looking for betas or CPs just because I am taking Songs of Autumn to a competition in September. And because of that, unfortunately, I don't know how much um, outside help I am allowed to have because it is in sort of a competition format. Um, I do have like a select group of people that I'm working with, um, but unfortunately I don't think that I'm allowed to like kind of go outside, you know, the few that I have right now. Um, I just don't want to like rock the boat. I don't think there's like a rule. I think it's just sort of an unwritten rule. Um, I would love writer buddies to just connect with and talk to so that I can like tell them when I'm stressed the heck out and how to stop being stressed the heck out and all of that. 
Also, tell me about all of your channels. I want to watch your videos and be your friend. I really do. Link them so that I can go and sub to them. I want, also, if you're watching this video and you have a book out, tell me about your book. I want to read it and buy it and support you and review it and stuff. Like, put it, put it in the comments right now. Do it, do it. Anyway, number 14, what are you most excited for during this new fresh start on AuthorTube? I am excited to get to know all of you. I'm excited to keep creating content and figuring out exactly who I am on this platform. I'm excited about all of it, like for real though. Um, anyway, I hope you liked this video. I hope you liked my answers. This was super fun. Jenna Streety, be my friend. Please. <laughs> um, anyway, like and subscribe down below if you want to watch more videos of me being a total chaotic mess. Um, I'm going to drink some lemonade. Oh, goodness. And I hope that you have a really great evening. My name was Lauren Severe. I don't remember if I said that at the beginning. Have a great night. Bye, guys.